Greetings, people. It's Mr. Pull the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. I don't know, I don't recall how many times I have said this, and I'll say it again, and I'll keep saying it. There is no man calling themselves a prophet who can prophesy or who can see, who can foresee ahead of time. In Africa, there is none. Worldwide, there is none. The dispensation of prophecy, it came to an end when Christ came. After then, no more prophecy, no more need for prophecies. And every time they attempt to prophesy, the prophecies will always go south. And every time they will try to calculate what might come out of events, every time they try to predict, none of them will ever be accurate. T.B. Joshua has given so many wrong forces in his entire time that he was still alive. And all of these prophets, they have been going offside in all their prophecies. The reason being, they don't hear nothing from anyone. But when I say it, I sound like I'm carnal. When I say it, I sound like I'm not spiritual enough for me to dictate where they are liars, imposters, or where they are criminals pretending to be hearing from God. Check out this brother here from Cameroon who told his people, who made a prediction or a prophecy in the context of religion that Germany and Belgium will face each other in the semifinals of the World Cup and Germany will win the cup. Check it out. Go and write it down. After the World Cup, come on this platform on, on our TV page and, and check Write it down. I saw many nations scrambling for the World Cup, scrambling for the World Cup. But at the end, I saw two nations were the two nations that were holding the World Cup, uh, holding the football that many nations were scrambling after. And these two nations was Germany and Belgium. They were holding and dragging they were dragging, you know, uh, uh, talk of Warner. They were trying to seize the ball. The ball tried to go the side, tried to go the side. And then it ended in two versus one. Belgium one, Germany two. Go and write this down. The winner, 2022 World Cup. I see. I see. It's Germany. It shocked you. I know you have a prayer for Cameroon. Amen. Amen. I just put what I saw. I believe I see him well. I see well. I saw Belgium. I saw Germany fighting on the uh, World Cup football. You had the two nations still standing. And then I saw Belgium one. I saw Germany two. I'm seeing Germany with a, with a foot, with 2022 trophy. This is Prophet P. Collins Nya in Boya, Cameroon prophesying. Go and write it down. So, congratulations. When he gave this prophecy, he even told his gullibles to pen it down, to write it down for references, purposes, so that when the, this actually happens, you come back and declare, I said it. My God does not lie. But the truth is, these baby charlatans, this baby charlatan, all of them, they do not have any form of relationship with God such that God can reveal anything to them before time. The teams that he has mentioned, Belgium and Germany, they all do not even qualify at group stage. These two teams were all eliminated. They are no longer participating in the tournament. But with confidence, he told his masses, his gullibles, that this shall come to pass. This is not the first time this has happened. It has been happening. And right now, none of them have been prophesying about the World Cup. But they are waiting for the finalist, for the two finalists to emerge. When the two finalists emerge, they'll do two prophecies. They'll pre-record them. 
The first prophecy will be centered on the other team and the second prophecy will be centered on the other team. After the finals, then they will release those, one of those two prophecies that they would have uh, made beforehand when the finalists have, been, have emerged. And they will start making people believe that God had shown them about the World Cup, about the team that will emerge as a winner of the tournament. All this is 419, my people. All this is Yahoo. All these are gimmicks being done in the name of God. They are just monetizing their lies using God as a proxy. And I don't know if we still have people that still believe in prophets, in prophecies. But I can guarantee you one thing for sure. They don't hear from God. They are not of God. And no one possesses that gift of prophecy as they claim. None of them can prophesy. None of them have the ability to prophesy. None of them. I stamp my word on it. Be spiritual as you want. Call me carnal all you want. But this is just fact. This is just the truth. None of them can hear from God. They cannot hear from God. God can never use them as their mouthpiece. Whenever they tell you anything, they are speaking their mind. Or they have researched about your life. And they know specific details about your life. That's not prophecy. They're just telling you things that you already know. And just to ask, what is the significance of all these football prophecies? What are they for? What, to, whose name is being glorified by telling us who's going to emerge as a winner of the World Cup? 100% of the prophecies that you have been hearing or that you have been witnessing, they have nothing to do with Christ. They've all just been, you know, stage managed kind of, uh, you know, events or scenes to make you lose your money. They have been prophesying about your phone numbers. How does that help you in any way, someone coming to tell you about your phone number? They have been prophesying about your relatives, your uncles, your grandfathers. How does that even help you spiritually? How does that connect you with God? And all the information that they've prophesied about you, to you, is information that they've acquired through different ways. In this digital world, your public information is on the public domains. So it's very easy for them to retrieve any form of information that they need or that they might use to make you believe that that information is being revealed to them by the Holy Spirit. They can't. That's why they never tell you what's going to happen in future. That's why even if they try, they don't give you specifics. They don't tell you on this particular day, A, B, C, D, and E will win. They will not tell you that on this particular day, A, B, C, D, and E will happen. They will never do that. All they will do is tell you that next year around this time you will be married. Next year around this time you will be a millionaire. Next year around this time you will be healed. They are not of God, these people. Wake up, my people. These people are not sent. They were not called. They were not anointed by anyone. <laughs> they are self-appointed. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. But we'll keep making as much noise as possible. My heart bleeds for the people of God who truly love God, but have sold their souls to these pulpit bandits. But they've given their free will to these pulpit bandits. Because if you check, if you audit the lives of the people that are following these men calling themselves prophets, they really don't have a free will. They do everything their papa says. They do everything that their DGO says. Bring your 10%. Come and bring your seed. Come and give your car that you have just bought. Come and give your house that you have just bought. Spend all your time coming to church. And they feel like if they disobey them, they will receive cases from God. And the boy is the master at this kind of manipulation. He makes all his zombies fall for his gimmicks. And they do all this so that they can manipulate masses and can so that they can control them. But I pray that such exhibits of this nature can validate some of the things that we talk about when we are always saying there is no prophet. 
that is being used by God today. There is no prophetic ministry in the new dispensation. Any man that causes gathering a prophetic ministry, it's a shrine. Take it or leave it. Go and argue with your ancestors. It will take you so much time to understand this or to believe this because you still believe you are spiritual enough to judge people that tell you the truth as carnal people. <laughs> These are things of the spirit, they say. You can never understand them, they say. But sometimes you just need to use your five senses. Some things are just as logical as they come. You do not need any spiritual inclination for you to decipher where there is a gimmick and where there is none. They are all criminals. They are all imposters. Whenever they open their mouth to tell you about your life, just know one thing for sure. Someone told them about it, or they researched, or they took it from somewhere. No spirit works in them that reveals anything to them. So till I meet you again on the next episode of the Enlightenment series, it's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out. <laughs>